what's up ladies and gents as you can see by the stank written all over my face these grays just weren't cutting it for me anymore my roots were starting to look like ground beef and i'm almost sure my hair smelled like ground beef but i was kind of faced with a dilemma like what did i really want to do with my hair did i want to rock my natural curls do i want to do a twist out a braid out a, a updo how did i want to rock my hair after taking it out these braids i just went ahead and decided that i was going to do a wash and go considering that my hair had been up a month and a half and i really missed my natural curls so I gathered up some products that I really wanted to use to get my curls popping. Hey, what's it? Um, <laughs> I'm about to wash my hair, but I'm gonna wash it with a co-wash instead of a shampoo, a, a sulfate shampoo. Because uh, sulfates are really harsh on your hair, my hair is already dry. It's not brittle dry, but it's dry because it's been in braids for a month and a half. So I'm gonna use this co-wash instead, and it'll give me the same result. My hair will be clean, you know, and soft and manageable. And also, some little smell, we're gonna go smell like coconut. Coconut. This is uh, Eden Body Works All Natural Cleansing Co-wash Coconut Shea. I guess I can show you. I will stand by this product because it works for me. I also use the cold defining cream, which I'll be using in the wash and go. Um, but it's really not a wash and go because I'm not going anywhere. But in the wash and go, um, their products are really, really, really nice to your hair. Well, nice to my hair, and probably, probably will be nice to people with a hair type like mine. Um, also, for the wash and go, I will be using. Eco Styler, um, black castor oil, and flaxseed oil. I've wanted to try this so bad for so long. And for my birthday, my friend Kayana got it for me. Go her. Um, but yeah, I'll be using this. And you know, a lot of people rave about this product, but I want to see what it is. You know, I want to see if it works for me. Because if it works for me, I'm gonna be happy. Uh -huh. But for real, it smells really good. It smells like. Uh, smells like a perfume kind of you know um well you don't know because you're not smelling it um but it's um 2.99 well it's 2.99 here three dollars very cheap and this is 8.99 um both of these were 8.99 the curl cream and the um co-wash um my friend also she's the best but i'm about to go wash my hair now so so now that I've washed my hair, I just want you to look at Shrinkisha. I call my hair Shrinkisha because she shrinks up out disrespectful like. And I feel like Shrinkisha is a disrespectful name. Um, I'm just showing you again the co-wash that I use. As well as the two products that I'll be using for this wash and go. Um, this is my leave-in conditioner. Also from Eden. Uh, jojoba, jojoba, uh, however you want to let it roll off the tongue. That's the one that I use um, to detangle and condition my hair. Um, I was looking for a ponytail holder, but thanks mom because they were all in your bathroom. Um, I decided to section my hair off into four parts and my hair is mildly thick so sectioning off, sectioning my hair off makes it easier to detangle and I recommend if you have mildly thick hair or very thick hair or you know I just really recommend sectioning off your hair because it makes it easier and more manageable and I don't know why you would detangle your hair all at one time because that just don't even make sense. Now I would just like to show you how I detangle my hair. Um, when detangling my hair, I try to focus the conditioner, you know, all on the shaft, but mainly on the ends because, you know, that is the oldest part of your hair. You see that? I told y'all Shrinkisha disrespectful. That twist in the bag just decided to come undone all on its own. Shrinkisha, I need you to get with it. Um, but I put a little bit more product on because I, I like a lot of product. It makes it easier. A lot of conditioner makes it easier to detangle. Don't go overboard though. But when detangling, I'd suggest starting from your ends. For one, it makes it a lot easier. And if you try to start detangling from your roots, you'll be pulling out a lot of your hair. I mean, your hair will be detangled, but at what cost? So I lost the video of me initially putting on the curl defining cream and the eco styler gel and I'm really sorry that you guys didn't get to see me trying it out for the first time and seeing how I put it on. 
but this is me halfway through and I look excited and I'm feeling myself my curls popping and I bet you wonder like how could this possibly go wrong so I'm on my last little piece of hair and I just want to address the um, white film the white film does go away as it is drying um, but at this point I am done and I'm really feeling it um, I'm about to take off my glasses so I can shake my hair out that's just something I do just to uh, I don't know why I do it. I think I just be feeling myself. <laughs> and as you can see right now, I look really, really pleased. My curls are super defined. There is no frizz. And you're a bitch you're wondering like, how could this go wrong? Let me tell you right now. So, I finished my hair at 9 o'clock. It is like 11.30 right now. My hair is still wet. It's not dry whatsoever. So I put it at the top of my head so that maybe overnight it can dry. I hope it dries and tomorrow I will show you guys the dry product if it dries. Oh, I'm smacking. Oh, I'm so sorry. But this mud is delicious. So this is the next day, and look at my face. You already know I am not pleased. When I woke up that morning, when I took that head wrap off, my hair did not move. Like my hair was not moving. I put some oil on it to like get rid of the stiffness and the crunch, cause there was crunch. To all those who said there wasn't crunch, there was crunch. I guess for me, my hair decided to crunch up and I was not pleased at all. I had to go to work with my mom that morning so this is where I was at filming this and I was just utterly utterly disappointed never has my hair done this after a wash and go yes the curls were defined but when I woke up that morning they lacked any movement there was so much crunch I was just like I'm just gonna put it up which is why my hair was in the puff in the beginning but I'm turning around to show you how my hair looks and it doesn't even like my hair in the back like what is that like look exactly boo this was my attempt at trying to spruce it up I kind of put a little water on it to see if some of the curls at the top would get back defined I mean it looked decent my hair was kind of cute but overall I just still wasn't feeling it the curls at the back of my head were still pretty decent but the ones in my crown they were just utterly, utterly awful. They just look so uncultured and disrespectful. All right, just like Shrinkisha. Shrinkisha, I really blame this on you. But that's all I really have. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we out.